know, we're all tuned into light. That's the one kind of common thing among most animals is that we all kind of see the sun's energy and from that we could visualize our, our universe. Our human eyes are adjusted to living on land and we can see the, you know, the colors that we can see. But once you drop under the water, the water swallows up all the colors except for the blue. So all these animals mainly live in a blue world and therefore their eyes have adjusted differently. Some animals see a hundred times better in the dark than us. So by swimming with these blue lights, I'm accentuating their blue world and looking at the way that light is transformed and show how much more sensitive their eyes and what colors they're seeing. I mean, these are my favorite parts of the day, you know, when the, just when the sun is down, the night is new. There's a certain quietness, and I'm thinking about what it's going to be like to just go silent, to drop underwater soon. So tonight we'll, we'll look at the crinoids. Uh, the crinoids are these very ancient organisms. They look like fans. They're in a family called a, a conoderms, which go back, you know, hundreds of millions of years. Um, are we going to see any biofluorescent fish? I hope we might. Yeah, I hope so too. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. This turtle was just hanging out with us. It was so, it was in love with the light. It was just hanging out with us, and it was glowing neon yellow. <laughs> yeah, this is the first, the first I've ever seen of a biofluorescent turtle. Spectacular. As soon as it came into my view, it was like. <laughs> That, that's like Christmas. It's a kid's Christmas, that one. Crazy. I mean, it was unbelievable. This turtle is so surprising to me. It's this idea that I believe it when I see it, and when you see something, it becomes real, and I was just looking at the fluorescent coral and now for a few fish that we know of, but seeing this turtle glide under us and be completely covered in biofluorescence was miraculous. It comes from a totally different group. It's in the reptiles, unlike the corals, which are these cnidarians or the fish. Or, so it's just expanding this world. What's unique is that these turtles are threatened and you know maybe maybe in 10 years down the line people won't even be able to study these turtles maybe they're all gone so to find this you know endangered animal that's still doing healthy out here and then to find something new and unique about it is 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 amazing that to me is you know it's 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 a fairly significant discovery and now I want to know everything I can about turtles <laughs>